Hi everyone, Inclusionista Tourista here. Uh, uh, we're in, um, where are we called? We're in the Tear Garden. Mm. As you can see, we're having, it's a beautiful day. There's a cloud just gone over the sun, so it's not, uh, so it's not blazing in my eyes like it has been doing all afternoon. So we're just here having a picnic, uh, me, Andy and Margot, and it's a beautiful day in uh, Berlin. Uh, so today we tried to go to the nature park, uh, which is uh, down in the south of the city, uh, and it's like an overgrown railway track and water tower. We get um, into the park to discover that it's snow dogs, so we were evicted. Uh, promptly so we decided to take our picnic and come to the tear garden instead and it's absolutely lovely there's hardly anyone around i guess because lots of people are at work and also kids have gone back to school um so cars still not fixed uh the drama continues probably gonna have to stay in berlin for one more day um uh because they're having to do something fundamental like the drive shaft or the gearbox don't really know what that means but it's something uh, big and important um and then um we're off to warsaw uh, as we trek our way up to helsinki so what have we done the last couple of days gorge we've enjoyed the hot weather um mm -hmm. yes yesterday we went to a really interesting exhibition um that sort of through documentation explains um how hitler became a nazi uh, or became um, a leader of the Nazi party. It was fantastic, really interesting. I mean, very disturbing, some of the imagery, stuff that we'd not seen before. Um, lots of stuff about the Holocaust uh, and about the kind of annihilation of six million Jews. Um, I think what was disappointing for me as a disabled person um, was that there was no mention at all about the uh, annihilation of some half a million disabled people no mention of the t4 program no mention of the kind of the the useless eaters propaganda uh very little mention of other communities that were persecuted too um i think the the exhibition is is weaker because it doesn't give that rounded account of the um the annihilation of of communities that hitler and his political party um, wanted to destroy. Um, I'm probably going to give some feedback to them. Uh, what was interesting is when we got there, um, it was kind of in the middle of a residential area. Not only did they had he have heaps of blue badge parking, you you can also get in for free if you're a disabled person. Yeah, well, the irony really. I just felt a bit invisible, uh, and I think it's a, it's a shame that they've made not they've not made more effort really to find doc the documentary evidence that of course exists that um, that Hitler and his party and so much of society at the time sought to to remove disabled people from from society through uh, a, a eugenics approach one that in many respects just may not be as apparent now but one that still exists as we know so um, it was fascinating and, and deeply disturbing, but um, I did feel sad that, that my community and the horror that they, they experienced all those years ago um, was just completely invisible from the exhibition. And I think, as I said before, it's weaker as a result. So, um, so that's it, really. I just thought I'd try, sort of get that out of my head uh, while I was thinking about it. Um, I haven't really worked out on YouTube how to...